37 yards long, a mere pitching wedge for most PGA Tour players. But no golf hole puts fear into the minds of the world's best, like the 17th at TPC Sawgrass. Is that the island green? Um, yeah, I hate that hole. It's a nasty hole. Once again, the island hole provides great theater. Created more by mistake than design when too much earth was removed during construction, it may be the best known par three in the world. A hole bordered by water that leaves no margin for error. You're either on the green or at the bottom of the pond. Players admit that the mere thought of the 17th enters their minds early on the back nine. They think about it on the 14th or the 15th and then get a look at it on the 16th, all the time wondering if today they will navigate their ball across the water. Over the years, it's been the scene of the remarkable. Same club, that's a nine iron again. No! Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh. Well, uh, that's the All-American par, Gary. And the bizarre. <laughs> we have uh, a new hazard at 17. Look at this. Yep, we've got it. We have liftoff. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Even when players manage to find the green, it can sometimes mean hoping for a small miracle to get the ball in the hole. A miracle that once in a while occurs. Johnny, that's better than most. How about him? That is better than most. Better than most! It's estimated that each year about 100,000 golf balls end up in the water during play at the 17th. There's a pretty good chance there will be a few more added to that total this week. During the Came to the tee, the hole measuring 132 yards. Played it with an 8-iron. The ball was long and right and finds the water. He moves to the drop area. Playing his third shot. That one is long as well. Drops another. Now his fifth. Plays it back behind the hole, but it catches the slope and spins back into the water. The drop area again is seven. That one spins back and finds the water. Too. Yeah, he's got pitching wish out here, Gary. We've got two wind indicators here. One down at ground level. It's the wind on the tee. And then another up high at the apex of where the ball would be as it approaches the green. And right about now, it's about as close as it's been all day. Very similar with the two. Two shot on the way. Johnny, this guy is number three on the PGA Tour in greens hit and regulation. This is his expertise. Now it's fifth. A shot after a shake is on a shot and goes. Like it might carry on top. Oh, easy. Oh, wow. What an open. Well, 
this is right at it. Oh. And he's gotten a little more aggressive. Get down. Yeah, that that is. Chuck that up to the defense Terrell Hatton just played. Boy, that was just a tiny little swing. This needs to get down. Reason comes to 17 to die. Oh, this might need to get down too. Said. Yes, Thomas just did it too. Timing there. Yeah. Slow the arms down. Hit a field shot. Get down. One foul. And this is left of the flag. Filling it up now. That's 10 balls in the water. Drop zone and Wyndham Clark. Easy. Oh, my. We're trying to hold that one off a little bit. Easy. And a little more down into it has been. This needs to get down. Visual point of view, I want them to be uncomfortable. I want them to think about it. Been on from the drop area here at 17. Ooh, he is ready to go for his fifth. This needs to get down as well. Flying well into the green. Easy. Uh, nope. Like a pretty big swing, trying to put a lot of spin on it, and that went better. Stop. Still not. To the top tier is right about where you want it. And this is oh no. Second hardest here at 17. The hardest hole on the golf course is the 18th. Jim Herman settle. Just two. And this is nice and aggressive here. Get down. Get down. Second ball. Oh, he's trying a little monkey see monkey do here. Dylan is on the right line. Now that's very steep. And oh no! This is more of a driving shot. This needs to sit. Well, that was a good aggressive swing, but this is heavy left. Not everybody is going to get to do that. See? Uh -oh. See? Oh. Nice card. Thus far, clean. That's the most positive part of it. He said he's avoided bogey. He's not been able to collect as many birdies as he would like. Here's the first bit of trouble into the water. It's so definitely almost finished this hole. You, you don't want to have to hit this shot first thing in the morning, although Mav may change his mind. 